I'm back again with the four-sided stitch uh, reinforcing complete and I'm now we're now at the point where we have to start cutting out the threads and this is the bit that's probably most terrifying for, for me and for most people I think rather than show you on this piece of even weave I've prepared a a larger grid using um, eight count mono canvas and eight ply wool um, so that you can see what I'm doing a bit more clear, a bit more easily. I'm going to um, use a rather large needle with a rather large eye um, to help with my with my cutting guide. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove two threads um, on the edge next to the four sided stitch here. And if I zoom in, uh, you'll see what I'm doing at the top corner up here. I'm going to place the uh, needle in a bit under two threads. Move the eye right up. And that's going to give me a place where I can cut quite carefully those two threads away as close to the edge as you can without cutting the four-sided stitch. In the eye of the needle it helps you determine that you've got the right threads. I'm going to go down to the bottom and do the same thing. And if you snip in the eye of the needle, you've been careful not to snip, snip the four-sided stitch and remove that. And then simply pull this thread out. A bit harder because it's on canvas and they're stiff. Could wet the canvas, make it easier. the thread right out once you've got one out the others should be relatively easy. This one's a bit tough. Doesn't want to pull today. You've got the idea, I won't, I'll just won't pull any further. Got the idea on how to do that. On both ends. Just pull them out um, on right to the centre. Then rather than go well, to the left, I'm going to move right over to this side and I'm going to cut two threads on the far side. And again, cutting inside the eye of the needle. I'm being careful not to cut the four sided stitch both 
both ends. I'll pull those all the way out in the fullness of time. This is just so you can show, show you what, what, how the process I'm using. Okay, pull those out. We'll leave little bobbles just there, but that's fine, it won't unravel. Now, you leave, you cut two, you leave six threads. So, two, four, six, and the next two, cut. And again, I'm going to go back to this end, two, four, two, four, six, cut the next two. Now, if you work alternately from left to right, and careful about your count each time, cutting against the eye of the needle, um, then... If you make a mistake in the count, the mistake will end up in the centre. And it's easier to hide a mistake in the centre um, because it looks symmetrical than if you try and hide a mistake at the end where it'll be out of balance. Six, cut two, six, cut two, and all the way across. And the same in the other direction. And you'll end up with an open weave, weave, weave grid um, on which to work the, uh, the, the wrapping part of this. What I might do is I might go away and um, finish pulling these threads out because they're obviously a little bit tough. And then I'll come back uh, with the finished grid um, on both this and on the even weave. And then we'll start the wrapping. But basically principle, use, use the eye of a rather large needle, one, of the, one that fits your fabric as a guard to make sure you don't cut the four-sided stitch um, and then um, uh, remove two now this one I'll just move the end one here you've got to remove the two right up next to the um, the four-sided stitch so remove two those two there And then count six, two, four, six, and remove those two. That one, that thread will come out. Remove those two. And basically, all the way around. But when you're doing the one, make sure when you're up on the four sided stitch, you get that one that's right up against the edge of the four sided stitch. Don't come, don't be tempted to come over one and cut those two. You want to get the one that's right against the four sided stitch on the end. And being careful not to cut the four-sided stitch. Uh, and again, if you start from the from the uh, the, the ed side edges and move in, if you've made make a mistake in your cutting, the mistake will be buried in the centre here, and it won't draw the eye as much as if you if you work all the way along and you end up being uh, at, at the at one end you end up having something like you know five five threads instead of um, instead of um, six or you end up with three threads to cut instead of two if you care if you count from the outside in your mistake will be in the center and it, you can create that as a design feature um, of your work so it looks symmetrical rather than having a uh, mistake off to one side. So be, uh, be, be brave um, and uh, happy cutting and um, I'll come back with a completely, completely cut out grid for you to have a look at.